378, that is the number of backlogged rape kits right now at the Bear County Crime Lab. And the longer they go untested, but the longer victims are denied justice. Plus, the greater chance for defendants to be released if they're already in jail. The News 4i team's Mariah Medina gets answers to why the system is so backed up and what's being done to fix it. Since 2019, Texas law has required sexual assault kits to be tested within 90 days of a request from law enforcement. And in Bear County, we found 284 have gone beyond that deadline. How does it get to be that bad? All sexual assault kits must be submitted to crime labs, and that's become pretty much a national standard, obviously a standard here in Texas. So you start to see an increase in sexual assault kits coming in. Bear County Crime Lab Director Orrin Dim says it started when the public first became aware of sexual assault kits weren't being sent off for testing. For several years, the story of unsubmitted sexual assault kits uh, continually came down to investigators shouldn't be making decisions about what gets analyzed, it should just all go to the laboratory. This then causes a cascade effect of we're not making decisions about what gets analyzed, it all needs to go to the lab. DIM started at Bear County the year the law was implemented, and the same year another law took effect legalizing hemp, requiring DIM's office to do more time-consuming tests on drugs. This on top of their existing workload. DNA many times is a victim of its own success because this discipline isn't just working sexual assault kits, they're working homicides, they're working assaults, they're working burglaries, they're working robberies, carjackings. So you have not just sexual assault kits coming in, you have a massive influx of evidence where DNA evidence is now critical to solving these cases. These delays also impact criminal cases as they travel through the justice system. If prosecutors don't have the evidence they need to convict the accused, they run the risk of letting offenders go free or having bail significantly reduced. So what is the crime lab doing to tackle the backlog? We you know, looked and said, listen, you know, we need to shift the priorities. Not everything can be the highest priority. Sexual assault cases and homicides are going to be our first priority. But that will undoubtedly impact other cases. Instead of sexual assault kits being backlogged, some other cases being backlogged. DIM also petitioned commissioners to add robotics to streamline the testing. And while that helped cut the backlog in half from 800 rape kits, DIM says once newly hired analysts are trained, they will see significant improvement in the backlog, not just in rape kits, but in testing DNA in all cases. I think we have an amazing team and they're doing terrific work. They're also members of the community here and backlogs bother them as much as anyone else. We'll continue to follow their progress. For the News 4 IT, I'm Mariah Medina.